going on there, YouTube? So I'm bored, just uh, hanging out in the shop, and feel like I need to cut something. So got a couple of these blazer bodies laying around. I figured I might as well try it. I've seen a couple people have done already, and uh, I'm tired of being scared of it. So we're gonna take a whack at it. Um, I'm not sure about bed yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut the other body and make a short bed, a long bed. Or I'm just going to do the cab. We'll worry about bed later, probably. Um, so, I don't even know how far we're going to get in this video. I like to start making a rear cab wall. I'm not sure if I have enough styrene, but, uh, yeah. I did want to show. It's hard. It's going to be next to impossible to get the show on here. Let me get the lighting better. There is a, a casting mark inside here. Pull my tape down. Not sure if you can see it. There's a line. It's flush with the edge of the bed and the top of the roof. So that line to me looks like perfect cab wall line. It goes straight down from here, <clears throat> and that's what I'm gonna. That's what I've marked. So that's where I'm gonna cut. So I'm gonna take my new hacksaw and go to town. All right, guys. So I've been online looking at pictures of C10s, seeing where the rear window bottom is in correlation to the bottom of the side windows. And uh, it does sit a little higher in this scale, probably a little more than a quarter of an inch. So I've got some two mil styrene here and I'm starting the back cab wall. The best way I could figure out how to do this is to just set it on there and then I'm going to take Sharpie and mark it from the inside. I'm going to hold it down, lose my cap. And when you do stuff like this, just you have to remember how fat the Sharpie tip is. So my cuts will need to be pretty far out of, well, they're going to be outside my marks just a little bit. That's, that's how it's going to play out so uh that's a complex cut <laughs> I have to try to figure out how to do that out of two mil styrene um maybe a little tricky to do with a razor I don't know I'm gonna brainstorm on it like I said I didn't have any prep for this project I just came in here and said hey I'm gonna cut this into a truck all right guys pretty good fit I used the Dremel a couple different bits um, actually came out a lot better than uh, I figured it would. I had a few little gaps to fill. There's just tiny little spots. That little corner there is a little off, but that's pretty good for first shot. <clears throat> I think I'm happy with the height for the wall to go. I've been looking at more pictures online. It's pretty accurate for a truck cab to be this. I mean, it's pretty square on the back, so I'm not going to modify this. Uh, I might round it out a little bit in sanding, but I'm not going to try to build the back out any. Um, still trying to figure out how to reinforce it and how, if, and how I'm going to make the uh, the recesses in the back wall. Not 100% sure I want to, but since I don't have a bed for it yet, um, I'm, I'm going to try. I think I can get some thin styrene. Uh, it's just cutting out the... The stock trucks have, the real trucks have a uh, rectangular shape. There's, I don't even know how many of them. Looks like, where did that picture go? Six. Six rectangles recessed in the back of the cab. Um, it's going to be a hard shape to recreate evenly. As unsteady as my hand is. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet, but. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep on messing with it. Uh, I think, I don't know, <laughs> I can kind of uh, run some styrene behind this edge and behind here to help hold that level, but there's nowhere at the bottom to uh, reinforce it. And I'm not exactly sure yet how I'm going to get all this to stay put and dry. So I think I'm just going to use my uh, welding, my home welding stuff I've got here, plastic welder. <laughs> Knocked it out already. And I'm going to leave it for the night. 
I'm going to put it on its back and put some weight on it and do it, glue it all from the inside and hopefully it holds. So we'll see. Alright, so the cab's over there drying. Um, that's going to take a day or so. So not going to get much further in this video. I, Trying to decide, I think I want to do a long bed. Um, I, uh, my grandpa had one of these. 4x4 four four long bed. It was all brown and tan and 80s, but I'm trying to find how long I should make a long bed. Now, the problem is, I think for this to be exactly correct, it needs to be a little longer on the back. Behind the tire wheel needs to be a little bit, but that would be a lot of work for little effect so I'm not sure I'm gonna go that far um, just kinda eyeballing right now I'm looking at where the tape mark is maybe for the long bed it's really hard to tell um, but I think it'll be pretty easy I can try to graft in some of the bed floor from the bed we cut off of that one and all I gotta do is fill this sand that down fill the door handle holes and yeah, graft on the top. It's be a little bit of body work, but uh, not too difficult. I mean, they, they give us enough there to that body line. <laughs> we can make all kinds of stuff out of it. It's going to completely ruin this cab, but I guess that's the price we pay for scale. Uh, so yeah, that's I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to wait on this. I'm not going to do this tonight because uh, I want to make sure this is right. I don't want to hack up this body for no reason. So uh, we're going to let the cab dry. We're going to sleep on the measurements here and see what what looks right. So anyway, uh, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more.